Is that Russian? Your arm? Cool. Mark? That's Mick, correct? Mick, yeah. Yeah, my name is Mick LaRusso. Uh, so I'm, I've become a STEAM educator kind of through the arts. I lived on a farm in Colorado as a child and uh, went out and like, would just observe things with magnifying glass or just you know, looking at ant lines under trees um, and drawing everything and then um, going back to school and asking questions about things that I had seen. The Steamwork Design Studio is a hub for interdisciplinary research across all the disciplines and it's also a space where students can come and do projects during lunch or after school uh, that are outside of what they're required to do in, in, in classes. So it's a space for, for innovation on all levels. STEAM is an acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. I like to add another E for Ecology. That's a big part of what my, my goal is with the space um, and sustainability is maybe another S. A lot of times we use what's called the design thinking method, which is like an engineering method where you go in and you ask, what are the needs? Like, what's the problem first? And what are the needs associated with that problem? Uh, so it could be a scientific problem, or it could be like a problem in somebody's life. Like maybe, maybe it's just like, how do I organize my locker? So those kinds of problems can drive a really interesting design process that can involve mathematics, science, um, measuring, uh, drawing things on CAD programs. We work directly with teachers to develop workshops at the Steamwork Design Studio, like our longstanding boat workshop where seventh graders design boats uh, creating a tempest and seeing how well their boat does the first time and then de redesigning it based on whether it failed or whether it was amazing but they wanted it to have like the face of Ed Sheeran on it or something, you know, <laughs> the second iteration. We work a lot with uh, aerospace engineering. Um, Isabella and a number of other upper school students, they've been working on flight computers in there for um, experimental rocket. They have to make these functional computer ships that fit inside the rocket. That's a pretty impressive design process and they were able to get two flight computers fully functional um, by the end of the year. We focus on expanding the Steamwork Experiential Laboratory. It's basically a, an outdoor space where students can investigate questions of how do we reduce our impact through gardening practices and using sustainable materials for creating a site that is built through sustainable practices. It's less of a structured space than many of the other classrooms. Like students from fourth grade all the way to 12th grade can come in and repair something that might be broken or um, come in and ask a big question. That's really where I want students to get, where they're like driven by their own curiosity and their own desire to make something the way they want it and, um, and understand that they're not gonna get there the first time, they go through iterations. We have a lot of technology in the Steamwork Design Studio, but re really what it comes down to is asking those questions and getting excited and amazed about something. <laughs>